Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bull Ring today, presented by our friends with Brace Face Brand Development. I'm Alan Dietz, joined by America's short track sweetheart, Jess Ballard. Comes out so well. That's my brand development. Yes, yeah, that's your brand development. Uh, and we're going to be working on all sorts of things with Rod Wortham of Brace Face Brand Development around Jess's brand. And we're serious. Uh, you want to stay tuned for that. Hey, you want to go to our pace lap and see who's going to be on the show today? Uh, yes. And see these new graphics yeah, on the show today? Very cute. Very cute. I love that. Yes. Just so everyone knows, that was all Alan. I had nothing to do with that. Mm, well. Yeah. Let's go to the pace lap. Let's go to the pace lap. <laughs> Augie Grill is going to be here with us today. Rusty Marcus of New Smyrna Speedway. Corey Heim off of a runner-up finish at Speed Fest. Rod Wortham, as we said, with the Race Face brand development. And one of our favorites, Natalie Decker, on her uh, new venture, um, which I think is pretty cutting edge. And mm-hmm. she's going to tell us about it and help me to understand it because I don't. Other than I know it's virtual reality, I texted Jess this weekend to ask about that virtual reality, and she didn't respond. So hopefully, now Nat- oh, you were sick though. So. I was sick, but your question, <laughs> we needed Natalie on the show to help you understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> we do this week have because we didn't last week. <clears throat> you didn't. It doesn't have a fun name. No, it doesn't. The so highlight? What, no, yeah. the, the highlights? Yes. Okay. The you want to go to the highlights? Let's go to the highlights. You know what? Before this year's over with, we're going to actually get this figured out. So, this past weekend here on Racing America, hopefully you tuned in to Speed Fest. I know a lot of folks tuned in. Uh, Chase Elliott was down there. William Byron was down there. David Reagan. Lots of other folks. So, uh, Pro Late Models were in action. I got to say, I was a little surprised Augie Grill went to Victory Lane. He's been on a dry spell in recent years, but uh, he put it on those kids in the pro Lake model. I've always had it. Oh, yeah. But it uh, was a very exciting to see Katie up front. Yes, it was. Uh, For a little she bit. She was on the pole or the outside pole and led some laps and stuff. Yeah. Katie Hedinger. Uh, the Super Lake models also in action where Bubba Pollard, uh, last year, I guess you could say, ended kind of a, a dry spell with a win. Goes back to Victory Lane right there in his home state at Watermelon Capital Speedway. Held off Corey Heim to get the win there. And then the much uh, anticipated and long-awaited Pure Stock uh, feature at Citrus County Speedway, the Harley Wilson Memorial. Ton of Pure Stocks there. Great racing. Travis Blotts was able to take the win there at Citrus County Speedway. Uh, it's funny you mention Bubba and Augie winning at Speedfest. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you would uh, collect this data, but I bet there is a trend, I feel, that if you win a big race early on in the season, I feel like you have a more successful rest of the season. Elgin Stat Boy trailer, back to our 51 days. Get on it, and we'll answer that question sometime. So check out RacedAmerica.com. Stay tuned for that. And the bull ring. All right. So uh, we're going to take a break, our first break of the day, and we are going to come back. We're going to talk to the Pro Lake Model winner at Speed Fest, Augie Grill, when we come back. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schrote belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sport Cars. Visit our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us out online at hmsmotorsport.com to learn the details of our products and, of course, order online. PFC Brakes has more championships than any other, and now they're on every champion's car as the official brake provider for the Camping World SRX Series. Remember, PFC Brakes. The secret is it's quicker.
Welcome to Race Face Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Race Face Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Hey, I'm Bo Parr, and you're watching Race in America. Glad to have you back here with us on the Bull Ring, presented by Race Face Brand Development. Alan and Jess here with you, and on the poll, our first guest here this week will be the pro late model winner from speed fest down at watermelon capital speedway this past weekend augie grill augie thanks for joining us and congratulations thank you very much alan uh it's nice to get one back, back under my belt uh early in the season hopefully we can uh get some more as the year goes well you put it on those kids uh tell me a little bit about that car it's an unfamiliar uh ride uh for most fans seeing you in and uh just what was so good about it? Uh, well, uh, me and Chris Mitchell, uh, in the last few years, have worked a lot together and uh, tried some stuff, this, that, and the other. And finally, I think we finally hit on something. Uh, I actually tested my supercar at Op about a month ago, uh, did the tire test for Ricky Brooks and SRL series. And uh, that was really good, was a few th things we did different. And uh, Jeff South, the owner of the 43 car I ran this weekend, he called me a couple weeks ago and asked if uh, I might want to run it this past weekend. And I said, well, I'd, I'd like to, but, you know, the things we've changed on my supercar, I'd like to do to this thing. And he, uh, he agreed, so uh, that's the route we took. And it's a car normally driven by Je uh, Justin South, and actually we won a race over there with it last year. But uh, he, he just had some things come up, just couldn't, couldn't make it this weekend. And... Jeff uh, told me he'd already paid for the entry, so we, we went and gave it a shot, and luckily we did because uh, the thing was really good. And hopefully it's something to, something that, that'll be coming this year. I Hopefully be be up in the top pack again like I, like I was so used to doing for so long. Well, you mentioned that. I mean, you got to feel uh, good about the changes that you made on the car per what you had learned with the super late model. Uh, is it something – a drastic change for you from from what you've been doing in the past is it a is it a subtle change uh it's i mean it's a, a small handful of little things we did and then just honestly just kind of where we've been missing it over the last few years uh just i mean not nothing huge just i mean just small things and uh it's it's all it's all about the the whole package and I, I think some of the things we had going just wasn't working with some of the other things we had going so it's just about you know getting it all together and having it, having it all work together correctly and uh maybe we finally got that where it needs to be or at least at least back on the right path i know a lot of folks at the track and watching at home were really excited to see you back in victory lane especially the folks from the south where you seem to be a favorite um so I assume that you're going to be running a lot more races in the super this year. Um, will you be racing any more pro races? Do you know what your schedule is for the year? Not really. Uh, about like every year I, I start the year <laughs> off. If, if I run good at the first one, I'll, uh, it gives me confidence to go to the next one. And if I can keep that streak alive, I, I may do a lot of racing this year, but all it takes, <laughs> all it takes is a one little hiccup and I, I, I can take it or leave it honestly. So it's uh it's good for business to be able to run good and 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 win some and uh you know like i said i i'd like to race 20 25 times this year but uh, it, it sometimes it's just not in the cards and i do have a family and three kids so it's, it's sometimes it's hard to hard to hit those four or five weekends in a row when my kids got something going on some of those weekends will you be back in the uh, i love mac and cheese and more car and will we see you at new smyrna any uh for any of the super pro races or the modified uh we uh, actually had, I'd had some discussions with a few different people about possibly running something down there but nothing's really in stone uh i would say this late in the game we're probably not going to make speed weeks but uh uh 
and then as far as the mac and cheese car goes, uh, not really 100% sure of what, what's going to happen with me and the Roosters this year. Uh, I'd like to race some with them, but they, I actually built them two road course cars uh, in the last year or so that they hadn't raced yet. And their, their plan this year is to kind of try to run them more than, or run them themselves uh, this year. So, you know, if they do more of that, then I probably won't be racing with them a whole lot. But, I mean, I got a super and a pro myself. And, this pro that belongs to Jeff South, we may run a, a time or two more. So, you know, it's uh, kind of open book whether what what we might may do may or may not do this year. But uh, hopefully, I get to race a lot because I, I mean I, I still enjoy it. And of course, weekends like this past weekend makes it all worth it. Uh, but there's you know those are, <laughs> seem to be few and far between anymore. Last question: uh, I know you did that tire test for the SRL uh, at South Alabama. Um, where do you see these super late model national tours at right now? I, I, I like it to, to the point that just, you know, sometimes competition can make things better for everybody. Uh, I just hope they don't get into a, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really know how to put it. Uh, <laughs> a I, war. I, I just say a, a, a war or a pissing <laughs> match. Uh, I don't, I, you know, I, I hope it doesn't get to that where they're trying to walk all over each other. Just, you know, one have your series. Try to schedule around with each other, so you're not on top of each other, and uh, try to make it better for everybody involved. Because uh, I mean, that's then the bottom line is, you know, all of us want to be able to race, and if they wind up killing each other, basically with the way they do things, and there's not a super late model tour at all, then we're all screwed. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I'm I'm really looking forward to what might happen this year with, with the two series. But like I said, I just, I, I hope they treat it the way I feel like it needs to be treated and, and not necessarily work together, but don't work against each other. You know, I, I agree with you. Well, like just said, I know a lot of fans were glad to see you get back to victory lane this past weekend. Can't wait to see what 2023 has in store. Uh, and again, I really appreciate you joining us today. No problem at all. I, I wish we could have got on the Zoom deal. I just <laughs> kind of knew to that. My wife does it all the time, but I don't even know how to how to look at a camera, much less talk on one. So maybe maybe the next time we can get that figured out. Well, we're just glad we got to talk to you again. I appreciate it. No problem at all, Alan. All right. Good That's Augie Grill. When we come back, we're going to talk to Rusty Marcus as the World Series gets set to go to New Smyrna here in just a little bit. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepper Jack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers. From leading in the field to leading on the track, together we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. With a can of PB Blaster in your hand, even you can work it like a pro. PB Blaster busts the toughest rust anywhere it's found. In the garage. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. In the yard. Ooh, that's right, you're in control. Come at me, bro. Penetrate tough rust anywhere around the house. Come on, get you some. That's right, baby. Woo! PB Blaster, don't bust your knuckles, bust your nuts. Get some. Yeah, this is some of my favorite short track memories. Obviously, of the recent years, you think of Martinsville, Bristol Dirt, you know, what, what those races mean to our sport and, and, uh, and being able to win those events was incredible. But I, I also think of, you know, growing up and racing late models and stuff. And, and one of my favorite memories is probably when I got to run uh, modified down at New Smyrna Speedway and racing Teddy Christopher door to door. I watched Teddy growing up as a kid at Stafford, you know, watching him race and to be able to go race him 
and we beat the bumpers off of these cars. <laughs> a lot of fun. And then he came over afterwards and we laughed about it and joked about it and, uh, and went racing again the next night in Speed Weeks down in Daytona. It was a fun, fun time. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Bull Ring, presented by Race Space Brand Development. Alan and Jess here with you this afternoon, and you know, coming up here this weekend, I can't believe it. There's going to be a lot of pavement pounding going on. It's going to be at New Smyrna Speedway for the World Series. Can you believe it? It starts this weekend. Well, we're going to find <laughs> out, but I'm pretty sure it starts this weekend. Holy cow, that snuck up on us. Yeah. We're joined uh, by Rusty Marcus of New Smyrna Speedway. And that's right, isn't it, Rusty? And we're coming up uh, February the 10th. It is all on, folks. Ah, uh, okay. February I was, the 10th. I was, like, I think Travis is one more week. <laughs> well, I was just trying to make sure everybody knew. We were supposed was... to be moving this weekend, and I'm like, oh, he's going to be in yeah. New Smyrna. Dang it. <laughs> all right, Rusty. Well, we're going to let you go, and we'll call you back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we want people to be well prepared and, uh, man, um, the entries just keep coming in and, and this thing gets bigger and bigger. But before we talk about that, uh, you guys have had a ton to deal with since the latest hurricane that went through Florida. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it was so disheartening whenever hey, the storm was still going on and I came to the racetrack cause I just lived down the street from it. And I wanted to see if we had gotten any damage. And I walked up to the grandstands and now keep in mind, the winds are still blowing, not real crazy, but they're still blowing pretty good. When I walked up on that track, many of you have seen the picture that we posted on Facebook. That is what I saw. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. There was 19 inches of water inside the tech building and inside mm. the concessions down there inside the pit office the tire room, uh, turns three and four just submerged. Um, it was, it was so sad to see. And of course, you know, you get the wind damage too. You get the, uh, the signs blown down, you get damage here, damage there roofs, uh, the tech building roof came loose and sunk down a little bit. Luckily it was a pretty easy fix. We've been working on it since then, try and get it back into shape. And I tell you, when we opened back up for the red eye in January, we were blown away of how blessed we were with the number of cars and people that showed up for the red eye. Uh, you know, we lost all of October. We lost the governor's cup, which, you know, the governor's cup carries a lot of weight and we had to let it go because we weren't sure what the surface of the track was going to do. Once we started putting everything on it and we had lots of tests done. We had lots of people out here to check things out, to make sure that everything was okay. And when I was at the snowball derby, that Saturday morning, I got a phone call, and the phone call was, we are all good to go. And so that was absolutely great news uh, to move forward. We had talked about repaving the racetrack before World Series. Uh, that's going to wait until November of this year, and then the track is scheduled to get repaved. When it gets repaved, it's going to be the track, the aprons, and pit road, because if you've ever been here, pit road's a little bit gnarly. Um, so it's going to be such a huge improvement, uh, when that happens. Um, of course, you know, we're going to start off on a brand new track in 2024 and Holy smokes, is it going to be fast? It will. That's for sure. Yeah. Repaves are always such an interesting topic of discussion mm -hmm. because people typically have a lot of opinions about it. So from your perspective, what goes, what goes into the decision to repave a track? Well, and, and here's here's what had happened. We we looked into it earlier in the year because it was repaved in 2007-ish. Um, and it was like, well, should we repave it? In reality, the track surface isn't that bad. Um, the track surface is actually pretty good. I mean, I've been to a lot of other tracks and we're in pretty good shape. But we want Newsom on a speedway to be a cut above. And this is one step in that direction. Um there's a lot of things that we want to do here that uh, over the coming months and, and years, because it's not something that's going to happen overnight, to transform this racetrack into what it should be. And that is one of the pinnacles of racing where everybody is proud to be here. 
et cetera. What, as far as the World Series goes, uh, the Southern Super Series is coming to be a part of it this year. The Wheeling Modified Tour came last year. You got ton of cars uh, in all of the divisions. What do you feel like has made the biggest difference in the car counts to get it back like it used to be? You know, I think one of the things was good old COVID. Uh, everybody kind of got stuck. They didn't know what to do. I think people are enjoying life a little bit more because it has certainly come way up uh, in the last few years since COVID. Uh, we're very blessed that we have the card counts that we have because it's very expensive to do this. You guys know that. And uh, just want to correct you. It's the ASA. So uh, that's correct. Come on now. I got to get used to that. <laughs> As if there's not enough letters to remember <laughs> right now. And, and and here's the thing. We're very excited about that. Of course, we're bringing back the Wheelin' Tour also. Mm -hmm. The Wheelin' Tour, always a crowd favorite. I mean, it was a zoo here last year. We got a little bit better control of things this year, I believe. Uh, so I think it's going to be a lot more interesting this year. Of course, it's the second year for him being here. And, of course, bringing the ASA Southern Super Series. I mean, when you're dealing with Tim Bryant, uh, from five flags in my opinion he's one of the best that there is and he is a pleasure to work with i was on the phone with bob Sargent this morning uh you know everything we're, we're so excited with the, with the way everything goes you know cra uh they come in and they officiate this race and they've done such a spectacular job of taking care of this race it, it, it runs smooth it runs calm and we're, we're so excited with the partnership that we have with all of them. Well, we're looking forward to it. We love working with you as well. Uh, the dates are, is it the 10th through the 18th? It's that. Here's what I know. It's February and just fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> yeah. Because it just doesn't stop. And when we get started, well, practice day is not this Wednesday, the following Wednesday, or not practice day, I'm sorry. Uh, Pre-parking day is next Wednesday, a week. Um, and it starts getting a little tense then. Then Thursday is parking and practice. Gets quite a bit tense then. Then we're going to have the kickoff party down at Elliott Steakhouse on Thursday night. And then, of course, on Friday morning, it all starts. Well, um, and we're excited for it. I mean, there's nothing worse than when you get down to that last Saturday. Um, and I've mentioned this before on different shows that I've been on. You know, you, you get into this thing on next week and you get about two days into it and you're like, what? oh, my goodness, is this thing, you know, it, will it ever end? <laughs> then about two days later, you start seeing rigs pull out because of attrition. You know, they've blown up, they've wrecked or whatever. And then by Saturday, you know, all the tour mods are gone because they're headed home for the most part. And all of a sudden, a depression comes over you because it's not the hustle and bustle that we've had for 10 days, it's starting to slow down. And people that we met, I mean, here's the biggest thing about racing, the friends that you meet, the, the uh, camaraderies that you get, that's what's important about racing. It's not about the money that you're going to make because nobody's going to make a lot of money with this, uh, but you are going to make a lot of memories. And that's what we want to be known for is making memories at New Smyrna Speedway. And I guarantee you, Everybody that comes here will make a new memory when they come for this 57th annual World Series of Asphalt. We'll make your pavement plans to get to New Smyrna in February. We'll be down there covering it. Our friends at Flow Racing will be broadcasting it. Rusty, again, thanks for joining us, and I will see you here in a couple of weeks. Hey, we look forward to it, and we hope you all can make it here. Remember, we're on the action corner of 44 and 415. Be there. <laughs> Sold. He does that great. He <laughs> does that great. When we come back, we're going to talk to Corey Heim after a weekend's runner-up finish and his, get his plans for 2023 when we come back. Communication is key in the racing world. When it comes to at-the-track communications, there is only one place to call. Racing Electronics is the number one source for professional race communications worldwide. 
Over 20 years in the business proves their dedication to the sport. With every driver and crew communication, two-way radios and headsets, scanners and more, Racing Electronics is a one-stop communication source for all your motorsports needs. Before the green flag flies, make sure you have all your team communication gear from Racing Electronics. Stop by and see a Racing Electronics representative at the track near you. Visit their showroom in Concord, North Carolina, or order online at racingelectronics.com. It's race time on Short Track America. Dirt or pavement, from east to west. Short Track America features some of the biggest grassroots races around the country. Super late models to street stop racing. If it's on a half mile or smaller track, it's on Short Track America. On MAV TV, Motorsports Network. Zerk Motorsport has been providing industry-leading cleaning and analysis for heat exchangers for over 15 years. Now that same technology is here, in the U.S., tailored to your specific competitive needs for every racing market. The only 100% certain way to know that your, your cooler is clean. Go to ZerkMotorsport.com and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more details on how we can help you gain Zerk speed. Hey, I'm Austin Dillon, and you're watching Racing America. Welcome back to the Bull Ring with Jess and Alan, and our Racing Roots driver this week, which seems so odd to me that he's going back to his roots now, <laughs> is Corey Heim. And uh, Corey, so many times you... Uh, you know have been on the show because you were racing late models and now your primary focus is the trucks and you're coming back to late models but uh seriously i appreciate you joining us and uh man you're good at watermelon but just didn't quite have enough for bubba this week huh yeah i mean that's probably the first time that i found myself kind of in that situation where i really thought i could win on equal tires and then you know um how the pit strategy all worked out um he he pitted about 50 laps early, earlier than me for the right side tires. And, um, you know, we had that caution of 20 to go. I made it to second within like three laps. And I, um, I had that caution fall perfectly. I thought everything was, you know, all, all the cards were falling the right way. And, uh, yeah, just didn't quite have it. I mean, sometimes it's, uh, sometimes you have those days and when you're racing against, uh, a really, really good late model driver and Bubba, one of the best of all time and best that I've raced with, you know, it's, um, it's tough to tough to race that guy sometimes and beat him. I mean, you know, the days that you beat him are are really really good days. And sometimes when you finish second to him, it's still a good day. And I feel like it it uh, overall was a good day for us. Just um, definitely stings a little bit to have those fresher tires and have kind of that opportunity of just falling in my lap and not being able to ex execute. But um, you know, that's part of it. It's part of racing. We've had a lot of drivers over the last few weeks talk about how just seat time and laps and running very frequently over the season is really what helps a driver hone in on their on their skills and and makes them really great is that on the main reason why you come back and run these late model races yeah i think that's a huge part of it i mean being out of the seat for um, about a month and a half ever since uh, the derby is the last race that i ran um, to be able to come back and just kind of knock the rust off, like you said, and um, really be able to just, I mean, I feel like I learn uh, something every time I race. So um, to be able to go and just get that extra seat time, get those extra laps and uh, work with uh, the great people at Wilson Motorsports and just kind of learn what they've been doing uh, that's made them so successful over the past year is something that um, I'm really grateful to be able to um, have going for me and um, to be able to get warmed up before Daytona this year. And I, I feel like I'm not racing quite as much as I, I normally am. So, um, you know, any start for me is, is a big opportunity and, uh, it was nonetheless this past weekend. I know you gotta be excited this year to be able to run the full season in the Craftsman truck series to, to go for that championship with a change though, would, would Kyle Busch, you know, join a Chevrolet team. That's where KBM goes. Uh, you're a Toyota driver going to a new team how much stays the same and and how much is different heading into this year yeah i feel like just with the help of toyota racing this whole process has been you know really easy for me um i thought you know when i heard about the news of kyle you know switching manufacturers and everything i thought 
oh man, I kind of kind of start over with a brand new team and brand new people, brand new owners. You know, you could you know rifle off a bunch of different things that you'd have to start over to kind of get used to that, but. Um, honestly, it's been really straightforward so far, just being able to, um, you know, I haven't really announced my, my crew chief yet, but, you know, just working with him and being able to work with these new sponsors and this, this new team, everyone's kind of welcomed me in as, as family, I feel like. And it's been such an easy process, thanks to Toyota and uh, Tricon and everyone over there that has made this process so easy for me. But, um, yeah, we've been working really hard these past couple of months, me and the team, to really start our bond and, and being able to understand what it takes to win races. And, um, you know, I've been putting a lot of work into myself to, you know, go out there and have a really good successful 2023 season. So, um, you know, going to keep working towards Daytona. I think we've got about two more weeks and I'm super excited. Just off the top of your head, do you have any goals you've set for yourself for the 2023 season, whether it be in late model racing or in the truck series? Yeah, I mean, it sounds cliche, but, you know, just win races. Um, that's kind of what I live for and what I do this for. I, I like to have fun with the sport, but I put a lot of pressure on myself to be successful. Um, that's, you know, the whole reason why I moved up to North Carolina and have made this my career uh, is to go out and win. So um, I really think we can do that. I think, you know, a handful of wins is my goal this year and to compete for the championship. But, um, yeah, just making the people who support me proud of me and, you know, just definitely uh, don't want to take this opportunity for granted. I feel like, you know, this is my first time running a full schedule of anything in like five years since I ran the full Southern Super Series and Car Store um, Series, you know, a couple, you know, five years ago, like I mentioned, and uh, to be able to finally run for a points championship again is um, an opportunity that I will definitely not take for granted. Well, we say it a lot, but uh, we are proud of you. And there's so many of you guys that, um, you know, are in the truck series or Xfinity or even in the cup series that, um, you know, we've followed since your short track days, uh, good luck this year. I got a feeling it's going to be a great year and uh good luck coming up here at Daytona. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. All right. That's Corey Heim. And, uh, you know, we talk about it all the time. These drivers, we follow, you mm -hmm. know, from grassroots on up, but Corey just from, from the time he got into these heavier cars, ARCA cars, he won a couple of truck races last year. I mean, it's just, it seems like he's adapted to them and I'll be shocked if he's, you know, not in the championship before at the end of the season. Right. He always seems to have almost immediate success wherever he shows up. Well, it'll be fun to watch him this year and I'm sure we'll get to see him a lot here on Racing America as well here with the super late models we come back we've talked a lot about race face driver development they got a lot of great things going on this year rod wortham he'll join us when we come back Welcome to RaceFace Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then RaceFace Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit RaceFaceDigital.com today and use invite code RA1. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. 
Classifieds is an online classifieds platform built for racers and race fans. Rhino makes finding parts, trailers, and specialty vehicles easy. Posting is free. Signing up is free. That's a lot of free. So jump in and join the most streamlined motorsports focused classifieds out there at rhino.co. That's rhino.co. We welcome you back to the Bull Ring here this afternoon. I'm Alan Dietz. Of course, she's racing short track sweetheart Jess Ballard. And today on our sponsor spotlight is Rod Wortham with Race Face Brand Development. And Rod, first off, thanks for joining us today. And we're trying to spruce things up a little bit, give these sponsors a little bit more exposure. And uh, hopefully you like uh, what we're trying to do here. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you having me on. It's always exciting to be on your show um, with both you and Jess. Well, let's get a little news out of the way first before we uh, talk about race face brand development. I know uh, a driver that you uh, has really been a, a a marquee driver for what you're trying to do is Caden Honeycutt uh, announced yesterday that he's going to be uh, racing for Roper Racing in the first six races of the season including Daytona, uh, Caden has just made a tremendous amount of progress over the last five years. And I know you got to be proud of him. Yeah, he's done a great job and doesn't matter what you put him in. I mean, late model stock, a dirt late model. I mean, and, and even this year, I mean, he went down and made his chili bowl debut, which I thought was kind of crazy, but, um, he did a great job and I know he's going to do a great job for Tony and them. And, uh, we, we look forward to maybe getting, you know, some additional funding and sponsorship on board so that uh, Caden can run the whole t the whole season with the old four team. You know, just like Rod said, just making his Chili Bowl debut, that's pretty crazy. That was, it? yeah, that you was know how crazy. That goes. Yep. Wh whatever crazy <laughs> idea he had, we also had the same last year yep. and crazy was the correct adjective. That's right. Well, it wasn't just a, a chili bowl debut. It was the first time he'd ever been in a midget. That's, that's what, what I thought was crazy. That's <laughs> what we did too is our first, Travis had never run any laps on dirt and then you get like four practice laps. Yeah, and so, there's 500 cars there. Well, as you know, yeah, Rod, drivers, <laughs> drivers are crazy. Uh, speaking of drivers, this is something I'm very passionate about that, well, drivers, as you know. <laughs> I walked right into that one. Yeah. Um, Not TV guys, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> on track performance is almost outweighed by the importance of having a solid brand that you can use to make yourself valuable to sponsors that can then financially support your racing endeavors as you work your way up, up the ladder. And if, if, you drivers, if you have not realized that, sorry, that's the case. You know, you got to be you got to be good behind the wheel, but you also got to be marketable. Um, so for anyone that uh, maybe needs help in that department, can you just give us a real quick rundown again of what you guys help drivers with? Well, our newest project that we're really excited about is Race Face Digital. I mean, we've been helping drivers as far as the branding side, helping them build websites, marketing, hero cards, all of that. But, you know, we, we we took a look and saw what major league sports were doing, the NFL, and you know, NBA, major league baseball, uh, especially, and they were doing digital collectible cards. So we wanted to be able to offer something like that to the grassroots drivers, because we think, you know, that's where it all starts at. That's where the fans actually, you know, make their connection with that driver is at that local Friday night or Saturday night short track show. So we started Race Face Digital. We're making digital MP4 3D collectible cards for uh, grassroots racers. And we're really excited about our program. Um, it gives it gives the racers something new to talk to potential sponsors about. It helps them promote their brand. It helps them connect with fans in the digital world. And then the biggest part is, they earn thirty percent sales off of all the cards, so it helps in the bank a little, uh, a little as well. I love that. That literally checks all the boxes, and yes. it it shows not only you know partners, but fans and just you know the world that grassroots racing is can be hip with the times. We are you know on trend, um, and so are all of the, if. 
how does this work? Is this are they hosted on your website? Is that something that drivers have on their website? How does like can you outline what this looks like if I'm a fan wanting to go get one of these cards? Yeah, basically you would just go to racefacedigital.com. That's where our marketplace is housed. Once a driver enrolls, um, then they have five cards minted. And those five cards minted are in different editions and they actually represent 3,400 total cards. So the fan can go there, they can search by racing series, they can search by driver, uh, they can buy the cards, and then they're actually stored in what we call their pit collection um, on Race Face Digital. So they can they can store their collection there. They can go show it off anytime that they want to. And, and very soon, now hopefully in the first quarter of 2023, we're going to be the first people in the digital card realm that's going to allow people to be able to trade cards. And we're really, really excited about that. Well, you can also see uh, Rod on our uh, Racing America 24-7 channel, the digital channel on connected devices, the Race Face Driver updates uh, weekly. You did a great job with that last year, Rod. We appreciate everything. I, I hope it's been as good for you as it's been for us, and uh, we look forward to a lot more this year. Well, it is, Alan, and it's been a great experience. I just encourage any drivers that want to go sign up and get your brand out there, go to racefacedigital.com, um, click on driver enrollment, but make sure to use, it's going to ask you for an invite code, make sure to use RA1. So again, R-A-1. Alan, thanks for having me on. RA1, yes. All right, Rod, well, we'll be talking to you again soon. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Yes, sir. You too. Remember that R A one. When we come back, we're going to talk to a young lady that uh, is a friend of ours and a friend of the Bull Ring, Natalie Decker, on her new hip adventure. <laughs> With a can of PB Blaster in your hand, even you can work it like a pro. PB Blaster busts the toughest rust anywhere it's found. In the garage. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. In the yard. Oh, that's right, you're in control. Come at me, bro. Penetrate tough rust anywhere around the house. Come on, get you some. That's right, baby. Woo! PB Blaster, don't bust your knuckles, bust your nuts. Get some. Welcome to Race Face Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Race Face Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Welcome to Race Face Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Race Face Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Rhino Classifieds is an online classifieds platform built for racers and race fans. Rhino makes finding parts, trailers, and specialty vehicles easy. Posting is free. Signing up is free. That's a lot of free. So jump in and join the most streamlined motorsports-focused classifieds out there at rhino.co. That's R-Y-N-O dot C-O. Hey, I'm Dylan Hart Jr. You're watching Race in America. Well, usually during this part of the show, we either have Matt Weaver on or Zach, uh, what's his name, Zach Evans. Mm -hmm. But this week... They were booted. They were booted, and for a much better reason, in my opinion, our lucky dog this week is Natalie Decker. Natalie, thanks for joining us. And the reason I say lucky dog is because you have got this new venture that I want to hear all about, Galaxy Racer. I, I understand it's it's virtual reality, but help me understand a little bit more about what it is, if you don't mind. 
Yeah, so Galaxy Racer is a gaming team that supports supports creators, um, you know, like on Twitch, live streaming, and gamers, athletes like myself. Uh, and overall, when they reached out, I was so excited because they really support women. And being in the racing industry, it's very male-dominated. And as well as the gaming industry, it's very male-dominated. So... When they said that they really wanted to change that, it really intrigued me and got my interest. And that made me really happy to hear that. And they're one of the few gaming teams that have this many women involved where it's split 50, pretty much 50 percent from male and female. And I just I, that makes me so happy to see that. And especially just coming from an industry where it is very heavily male dominated. Can I just say just that I give a 100% endorsement. I totally advocate and offer to be dominated by women. Okay. So great. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> I want to say how we can tell Natalie's a gamer yes. and a streamer because of the setup. The setup. Yes. Her, the, her <laughs> mic, you sound so great. And we got Thank the you. cute background. I know she's in her gaming chair. Uh, Natalie's one of my best friends, so I know her little gaming room, big gaming room, mm -hmm. uh, very well. And Natalie has, you always had a great social media presence and that's been such a big part of your racing career. But once you started doing the streaming, which I think you started kind of around COVID when everyone else kind of, you know, got into Twitch, you can literally game with your fans and like interact with them in real time. And it kind of just takes it to the next level, like building those connections. So can we just talk to Rod uh, Worthman on with race face development, uh, race face brand development. We were talking about the importance of drivers having a brand. So can you tell us a little bit about how building your brand online has positively affected your racing career? Yeah, it's so important. And you know this very well, Jess. It is extremely important to build a connection, build a brand, and to show your fans you're not just a race car driver because sometimes that's all that they see. And that's not all that we are. And we have other interests and other hobbies and other things that we want to accomplish in our life. You know, we don't, we don't just go to the racetrack, show up, race, go home, go to sleep, and then repeat. Like, there's so much more work that goes into it. And when when COVID did happen and Derek, my fiance now, I, I, know, I was, I was about to say. you lifted your hand up and I was like, oh, I should have opened with that. <laughs> well, it's like, like she was Natalie. subconsciously going. <laughs> he was like, Natalie, you need to start streaming. He's like, have you heard of Twitch? And I was like, no. And he was like, let's just try it out. See if you like it. And my first stream I ever did, it was off of an Xbox playing Rocket League and so many of my fans showed up and I was like hooked instantly. I felt so much love, so much support. And it was so cool to be able to interact with them while I was live. It was like instant. And that was the really fun part of it. And we get to now play games together. We get to iRace together, Call of Duty, Valorant, Fall Guys, like all these games that I really have fallen in love with besides racing and iRacing. I get to do with my fans and it's like a whole new level of fun. Can I just say <laughs> can I just say my kids so they were all into the the computer games, literally the the iPad games and stuff like that. We got a uh, uh hooked up an Xbox and started playing towards the end of last year. My mom was like, "Hey, they want a PS5. I'll buy them a PS5 for Christmas," which she did. And the reason I bring this up is because Natalie mentioned Rocket League. So Clinton shows me this Rocket League game. And even when I'm not playing the game, like when the boys are playing against each other, I'm sitting there <laughs> moving like this, being like, come on, hit that ball. Knock it through the game. That's one of your favorites, isn't it, Natalie? I, that's what I started with. I haven't played Rocket League in a while, but my top favorites are Call of Duty and Valorant right now. So... Hopefully I can start getting better and better at them so I can start beating Derek. That's my goal. <laughs> <laughs> well, Natalie, congratulations. Uh, I think this is great. I think uh, that it's it's the start of 
of of a trend of something new and uh also congratulations on on your engagement and uh i look forward to you being as miserable as i've been now for the last 15 or 20 years <laughs> alan with the Never. jokes this segment <laughs> <laughs> sorry tammy i love you but i know you're not watching so it don't really matter well congratulations uh natalie i appreciate you joining us today thank you so much for having me all right there's natalie decker boy we're having more fun than a uh box of monkeys aren't we (laughs) when we come back yeah barrel whatever it is when we come back we're gonna preview this weekend which we don't have any streams this weekend but we're gonna preview something you can watch natalie's streams we can watch natalie's stream maybe we can stream natalie's streams (laughs) on our stream that's something we could look into but we'll figure something out and we'll tell you about it when we come back Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. (laughs) Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shop for everything racing. Welcome to Raceface Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Raceface Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schrott belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sport Cars. Visit our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us out online at hmsmotorsports.com to learn the details of our products and, of course, order online. Well, lots going on in the world of racing as we get set for speed weeks down in Florida. However, no streams this week because everybody's getting ready, but that doesn't mean that we don't have a lot going on here at Racing America to tell you about. Uh, Racing America will be at the World Series at New Smyrna Speedway. Those races will be on flow, but they will be produced by our capable crew with Racing America. And glad to say, coming up next weekend as well, the icebreaker at Florence Motor Speedway for the NASCAR late model stocks. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to be back there at Florence. And so will Racing America. We'll be producing that with flow as well. So I just kind of want folks to know, you know, they, they know how competitive this streaming business is and stuff, but we got to work with XR at, um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know how competitive the streaming uh, stuff was until I very became part of it. Yeah. Yeah. But we got to work with XR at North Wilkesboro last year and we've done a lot with flow that, that people didn't necessarily know we were doing and, uh, you know, encourage you to check them out as well as us and uh lots of other folks out there also a uh, little bit of news that broke yesterday in addition to the caden honeycutt news and i think this is great our friends at the northwest super late model series have got a brand new title sponsor race cows is going to be the title sponsor of the northwest super late model series in 2023 and that is great news um i hope that 
our streams from there helped out a little bit with getting that sponsorship and uh, we want to welcome race cows to the family and uh hope you folks and racers will get out and support them because they're supporting you know some of our friends yeah uh, a title a new title sponsor is huge and honestly you don't see it very often especially in short track racing a lot of the title sponsors have been the title sponsors since before i was following and that just goes to show that like the cutting edge trends that we talked about on the show today short track racing can be hip with the times and bring in new partners and you know one other thing that i want to say and i didn't uh, say it earlier but um so speed fest got a lot of attention especially with chase elliott and mm-hmm. william byron down there but great car counts for the super late models under the asa banner the pro late models, uh, the outlaws were down there. A ton of legends and bandoleros. If you didn't get a chance to watch Speed Fest, you can go back and watch it on demand here on Racing America. But glad to see all those racers get out, especially this time of year. It's it's always kind of iffy because a lot of folks are working on their cars and don't have them built and don't have them ready. But uh, uh, everybody or a lot of folks did, and uh, and everyone, it seemed like it's a very good event. Yeah, sounds like everyone had their stuff together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> that's the vernacular we want to use at least here on this show. So family friendly, family fa- friendly. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna wrap up this uh, wild and crazy bull ring this afternoon and get you ready for the bull ring next week. Women owned and manufactured in South Carolina, PFC Brakes is the number one choice for motorsports, fleets, auto manufacturers, and first responders. PFC delivers the best brakes on the market, guaranteed to outlast and outperform the competition. If you're looking to win at the track or reduce downtime for your fleet, or just need more stopping power when towing your boat or trailer, look no further than PFC Brakes. Visit us at pfcbrakes.com to find your local PFC Brakes distributor today. PFC Brakes are bred to win, from the track to the job site. No compromises. Communication is key in the racing world. When it comes to at-the-track communications, there is only one place to call. Racing Electronics is the number one source for professional race communications worldwide. Over 20 years in the business proves their dedication to the sport. With every driver and crew communication, two-way radios and headsets, scanners and more, Racing Electronics is a one-stop communication source for all your motorsports needs. Before the green flag flies, make sure you have all your team communication gear from Racing Electronics. Stop by and see a Racing Electronics representative at the track near you. Visit their showroom in Concord, North Carolina, or order online at racingelectronics.com. Hooters and racing go together like killer wings and ice cold beer. Racing has been at the core of Hooters DNA from the beginning. Whether it's backing the best drivers or serving up the best food on race day, race fans know Hooters is the real deal. Big screens, great food, good times. Hooters, the official home of race fans. Well, we're glad that you joined us today here on the Bull Ring. I want to thank our guests again, and as always, I have to go back and read them because I've already forgot who they were. Understandable. Yep. Uh, thanks to Augie Grill, Rusty Marcus. Let's see, who else? Corey Hine was on the show, Rod Wortham, and Natalie Decker. Um, as I said, uh, we got a lot of great things coming up here on Racing America, and this weekend is going to be a perfect opportunity to uh go through our archives to, to <gasps> yes watch uh, races on demand to uh check out racing america 24 7 channel and connect the devices uh watch the pro bowl if you have to be punished that way 
So uh, there's a there's a lot going on. The Pro Bowl? Oh, wait a minute. And by the way, who's going to the Super Bowl? The Chiefs. That's right, the Chiefs. That's your that's Allen's team, if anyone didn't know. Yep. He showed up to our Monday call with a all decked out in Chiefs gear. Yeah, I did. Um, so congratulations, yep. Allen. They won the game I wanted them to win. If they win the Super Bowl, it's just a bonus. So have they ever won the Super Bowl before? Oh yeah. So is uh, that a dumb question? Again, for all you jabronis in Cincinnati, we'll just leave it at that. Thanks again to all of our guests and for Jess Ballard. I'm Alan Deet saying so long. We're going to have a lot here for you next week on the Bull Ring as we get ready for the World Series and everything uh, about to get kicked off down at Speed Weeks in Florida. And, we'll, hey, I forgot about it. Uh, the uh, Coliseum race is this weekend oh, yeah. in L.A. So uh, we'll be able to talk about that, too. So check that out on Sunday on Fox. We'll see you back here on the Bull Ring next week. Welcome to Race Face Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Race Face Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Can you believe it? Right now, racing, in my opinion, is as healthy as it's been in the last 15 to 20 years. Just wanted to make that first lap. Go! <laughs> <laughs> HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schroet belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars, and sport cars. Visit our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us out online at hmsmotorsport.com to learn the details of our products and, of course, order online. PB Blaster busts the toughest rust anywhere it's found. Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. Penetrate tough rust with complete control. That's right, baby! PB Woo! Blaster. Don't bust your knuckles, bust your nuts. Get some!